lot of the rescues and releases we do are normally in really inaccessible areas, which is why the reason we need a four by four um, to help us get into those sort of tricky situations. We're currently running a fundraiser at the moment, um, mainly for the maintenance cost to try and keep this guy on the road. Um, that way we can continue to get out, out into the wild spaces um, and we can continue to look after these injured and orphaned otter cubs. So, welcome to a sunny Devon. Um, I've just made a trip uh, to one of the release sites that we've used, the last release site that we've used of the year. The small river that you're looking at runs out of a series of two lakes um, which have good food supply and obviously lots of habitat as you can see around me. Um, and we choose the release sites to suit the individual or the pairs of otters that we release. Everything we do is geared around the otter. Every release site that we choose is geared around the otter's needs. And we have to make sure that we can sustain its safety, its well-being, its welfare once it's at the release site. We support feed for however long they need. There is no set time for that. Um, we monitor, post-monitor every move with trail cameras and we gather quite a lot of footage from that we know when they're coming back we know their movements roughly and gradually they will find their way around the area and they'll gradually move out further and further and further until they don't come back at all for any food and once we see that for a couple of weeks we then take everything away because pretty much our job is done. We wouldn't be able to release otters like Cricky and Bee back into the wild without our 4 by 4 we rely on it to reach these wild locations to release, support feed and post monitor these rehabilitated otters. Any amount you can donate to our fundraiser will help save an otter this Christmas. Thank you.